Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my intro for my project pan for 2024. So as you'll see by the title this year, I'm doing things a little differently than I have in the past couple of years. I am doing a 24 in 24 project. I am also kind of doing team project pan style, um, and I'll kind of explain that. So the last couple of years, I've really sort of pared down my project pan, um, focusing pretty much exclusively on makeup and keeping it smaller because previous years I was feeling a little overwhelmed because I was doing like 20 and 2020 20, and 21 and or no, 19 and, I don't know, I think when I started, or stopped doing that was 2021. So, like, I was doing a full range of products, I had lots of stuff going on, and it got a little overwhelming, so I dialed it back a little, but we're, we're gonna reel it out a little bit again. <laughs> um, maybe not as much. Made a few changes. First, let's maybe talk about this eyeshadow look, because it's very different for me. <laughs> um, I've been playing, it's the holidays, I want to play with makeup, I want to try some different things that are out of my comfort zone. This is very much out of my comfort zone, but I really was drawn to this color. It's from the Rudolph palette. I have been loving this palette. The quality of this palette is so good. I'm so glad I just like spontaneously bought this. <laughs> I wanted it last year, didn't buy it, saw that they brought it back and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm buying it. And it worked out perfectly because I was like thinking about buying something on ColourPop and then I was like, let's just, if it's still available, I'll throw it in the cart. And it was still available, so I threw it in the cart. Um, so I'm wearing primarily this red shade on my lid, which is called Reindeer Nose, how appropriate. And then this shade right here, which is called Full Power. Those are the two main colors Then I have a little bit of this shade here on the inner corner, which is called Lots of Tinsel. Yeah, like really highly pigmented, definitely better, I would say better quality than the round pan ones that I've tried. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super thrilled with this. I really love this green shade and I'm not a green eyeshadow person and this is like a beautiful, that was one of the shades that actually drew me to this palette and I'm not a green eyeshadow person. So anyway, I just wanted to like, you know, this is a different eye look for me if you're, if you're, Returning to my channel, if you're new to my channel, this is a very different eye look for me. Um, but we're playing, we're having fun, and that's what makeup's all about. So, project panning. I said I'm doing 24 in 24, but I don't have 24 items just yet. I have 12. We're starting off with 12 makeup items, and then I'm going to roll in stuff as the year goes on. I didn't want to pick 24 items from the get-go and overwhelm myself and have a couple updates at the beginning where I'm like, I didn't touch this product. Like last year I had the Soul Body Shimmer, which I didn't use for like three months and then I eventually started using it. So I just didn't want to do that. I want to roll in stuff when I know I'm going to start using it. So I'm definitely going to throw in some stuff like probably some nail stuff, um, some hair care stuff, maybe body stuff, but yeah, I'll definitely be throwing in some things that are not just makeup. So let's get into the picks. I do tend to strategically pick things that are maybe closer to being done for the beginning right now and things that are older in my project, but not everything is this time around. Um, so my primer is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer, and I do have a little mark on the side here. It's hard to see because it's like pretty much aligned with that like silver line. So this is a product that I picked because it's pretty much almost done. I didn't mind this. I enjoyed it when I repurchased it. No, I because I want to try other primers. I didn't love it enough to repurchase it, but it was fine. It's supposed to be like redness correcting. There's not enough color in it to actually do that, but it was nice. Like it's sort of like one of those more moisturizing type primers. The foundation that I picked is this guy. This is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD foundation in the shade. I want to say like R230. I don't know where the shade name is. Or sorry, R240, which doesn't exist anymore. Um, this was like the mini size. I'm really sad. So I picked this because this is one of the oldest foundations in my collection. And I tend to use this as a mixer because it's very pink. Um, the pump is broken though. I didn't realize the pump was broken and I was like, oh, that sucks because I wanted to kind of keep this packaging, see if I could clean it out and use it for like at the L'Oreal, the old True Match. I was like, this would be a perfect size to put that in. No, not happening. Um, so again, another reason to try and get this out of my collection. This will probably go a bit slower than some of my foundations in other projects because like I said, I tend to just mix this with other foundations. I mixed this with a L'Oreal um, Infallible foundation today because um, it is very 
pink, very pink based. And that's why I bought it was because if a foundation is too yellow toned, like I'm very cool toned, that this is a good mixer for. And most of my other foundations are pretty good, but there's a few that are not <laughs> good and I want to get through those. So this will be good to, to mix with those. But yeah, I'm super sad that the pump is broken and I have put... Again, I put a mark where you can see it's about just a little bit over halfway. The concealer I picked is one of the oldest concealers I have, and it is the NARS concealer, the soft matte concealer in the shade Canel. I actually have pan on this, a pretty decent sized pan, um, but this shade is not great for me. I realize that it's a little too deep. Well, I mean, you can even see right now. It's too deep for me definitely right now. It's fine in like the summertime. Um, so I did pick up, oh, what's it called? Creme Brulee. So I do have Creme Brulee and that's like a perfect shade match for me. So for this guy, I tend to use it more like a base under my eyeshadow because I do feel like I need to blank out, like blank the slate because I have veins and stuff. Um, so I, I've been using this more of like an eyeshadow base and that's how I, I'm going to try and finish it. Like I think I can finish this guy and that's how I'm probably going to finish it. Once the summer rolls around, I'll be able to use it more like on my face. Um, it's interesting. A lot of people don't like this because it is like a drier formula. So they're like, oh, under the eyes, it's too dry. I actually like it under the eyes because I like it because I don't have to set it. So yeah, like if I put it on and then put powder on top, that's too much. But I can actually just put this on and I don't feel like I have to set it, which again, like less is more sometimes, especially under the eyes, like less layers is better. So I'm actually not wearing it under the eyes today because like I said, the color is a little off for me right now. Um, Powder, so powder is going to be interesting. I'm not, I've weighed like three different things to try and figure this out. Again, picking an older product out of my collection. This is the Marcel Luminous Face Powder. It's just a setting powder, but it's kind of deep. Like, I don't know how well you can see that in this side. Like, it is kind of, it's deep. It's deeper on my skin. It's deeper than my skin tone, um, even though it's supposed to be a translucent powder. Um, so I haven't really been using this because it, it's too deep for me. So I'll use it like for a couple months in the summer and then that's it. So what I've done is I've put it in this little pot and I mixed it with some of the Wet n Wild translucent powder. I feel like I need to maybe put in a little bit more of the Wet n Wild powder. I did use this today and I'm like, still not looking quite right. Um, so this will take a while to get through. I did put a marker on the side of it as well. I'm about halfway, or the package is about half full, I would say. I don't think I'm halfway done this. I don't think it was full to start with. So there's still a lot of product in this. This might, this might take a while because again, I'm going to be mixing it with other powders to use it up. Um, but I think I can definitely, I can definitely finish this up by the end of the year for sure. Um, and yeah, I just kind of want to get this out of my collection. I've had it since 2019. So it is time. It is time to try and finish this up and get it out of the collection. So bronzer, again, I picked the oldest bronzer I think that I have in my collection and it's this guy, it's a mini. So I should be able to finish this. The tricky part of this guy is it's kind of deep on me, especially right now. I am wearing it today but I have to go pretty light handed with it, which for me, if, if you've ever watched any of my get ready with me's, I'm, I'm a little heavy handed with bronzer at times. Uh, it's a Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I like it though. I like that it's um, not too warm toned. Just Let's do a swatch. It's definitely a bit more neutral toned, which I think makes it work. Um, if it was more warmer, I think it'd be harder for me to use all year round. But yeah, I think it's pretty full. Like it's definitely, it's full. Um, I've, I've used it, but it's like, there's no pan, there's no dip, but it's not a full size product. I don't know how big this is. Yeah, I cannot read that. I want to say like 2.8 grams in that range. So I can definitely finish this, um, but it, like I will have to focus on it to finish it, even though it's just a, a mini size. And again, I've had this since 2019. So definitely something that I want to move out of my collection. I would... I wouldn't repurchase this one. I think I would repurchase the milk chocolate one. I have seen the milk chocolate one and I've almost bought it and I, I turned it down because I still have this. But once this is done, I think I think I can see myself purchase, purchasing the milk chocolate one. Again, kind of going old school with the blush and this is coming back. Tarte party! Because this guy, I'm like close to being done. Like, and I say close to being done. I mean, it's still gonna take months to finish this but I have a great pan in this. Finishing a blush is like a crowning achievement for me because it's so hard for me to do. Um, so I'd really love to finish this. 
And that's really, that's really, that's what this is all about. That's really what this project is about for me this year. Last year I was doing a quarterly project and just trying to get through stuff in my collection. This year I really do want to finish. I actually want to finish 24 products in this collection or in this project. It may not be all of these. I may not finish all of these, um, but I do want to finish at least 24 items in this project. That's the goal. Um, speaking of things that I'm not going to finish, um, but the goal is to hit pan. It's not, it's not a compact uh, foundation. It's my highlight, which is this guy. This is from Cleona. It's again, one of the oldest highlighters that I have. It's in the shade I want to call, I want to say mini. It was named after I think one of their pets. I'm not sure if it was a cat or a dog that passed away. And it was like, you bought this and then they donate a percentage to want to say like SPCA or something like that. Um, the challenge with this when I picked it and I didn't, I didn't realize this when I picked it, it's very cool toned, um, like very cool toned, which I do like a cool tone highlight, but I feel like it's going to be a challenge to use. Um, I am wearing it today. The camera focuses. I don't know how well you can see it. I did do it fairly lightly today. Um, but yeah, I feel like this might be a bit of a challenge because it is so cool toned, especially depending on the style of makeup that I wear. Like even with this makeup, I'm like, oh, is it going to work? It was fine. Um, not as difficult as I, or not as like contrasting as I thought it might have been. Um, but I was just like, ooh, this, this could be a challenge. So the goal is to hit pan. I cannot finish this in a year. I know that. I know myself. I would be like, the Tin Man, if I wanted to finish this in a year, it's not happening. Um, but I'll, I'll be able to use this like as eyeshadow as well as highlight. So um, I'm looking forward to playing with this because, again, it's one of the oldest uh, highlights that I have in my collection. And also because it's a single, it was getting neglected. Like I have a few face things. I have another blush from NYX. Hmm, that might be a good one to throw in um, in a project. I have a blush. I have a contour, but that contour is kind of like I've kept it around just to mix with other stuff. Um, but yeah, that, like those singles that I have are definitely stuff that gets neglected. So that's why I've put this in the project as well. Next up is my eyeliner and this one's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> um, this is from the brand called the Estee Edit. So like the spinoff brand from Estee Lauder when they tried to be hip and cool and it failed. I want to say like one of the, was it Kylie Jenner? One of the Kardashians was maybe one of the face of this, I think. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, this is actually supposed to be an eyeshadow stick. I keep it with my eyeliners. Um, but yeah, like it's like it's a big, but it can work as an eyeliner. So I am wearing it as, um, I did tight line with this today, like in my upper waterline, like upper lash line. Um, it works. It works fine like that. I will try and use this as an eyeshadow base. I didn't today with this red, but um, we're going to try and use it. And the goal is to, the goal is to finish this. We're gonna try. We are going, this is an ambitious goal for me because I don't know how well that's gonna work. Um, but I have had this in a previous project. So this is where it's currently at right now. And I did move through it. I moved through it faster than I thought. So that's why I feel like this is gonna be achievable to get through. I didn't put any mascaras yet in this project. I don't feel like I have any that I was like dying to work through, <laughs> but I might throw in a mascara at some point. Um, but eyebrow product, we're bringing back an old school. I'm a glutton for punishment. This is the Winky Lux, whatever they call it, eyebrow pencil. I got this from a boxy charm. It used to have like hieroglyphics on it. That's gone. The lid is broken. The little pencil thing is broken. Like it falls out. <laughs> um, so yeah, and this is like, there's not a lot of product here, but holy hell, this is one of those products that like the weight never changes. Sometimes the weight goes backwards. Sometimes it's like, I feel like I, like I use it every day and it like does not go down. <laughs> But for the love, yeah, and see, like, like I'm turning it, and then I've got it, yeah, like, it, it's, it's, it's dying. So we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to finish this this year. That's the goal. That is the goal, is to finish this. I think it's doable if it's, like, one of the main uh, eyebrow products I use, which I do have it in my eyebrows today, and I think, I think... It could get to a point where it's so small that it might be like useless. Like again, it might it might off itself <laughs> if it falls out, and that if that happens, that happens. But we're gonna try and finish it. Um, I also put in a, a glitter glue in this project, so this is a little unusual for me to throw one of these in because I don't have a lot of eyeshadow primers. I only have um, the Urban Decay primer potion. I have like one that I'm working on, and then I think I still have a backup of that. Um, the reason why I threw this in was because I haven't been using it 
and I'm afraid that it's going to go bad before I can use it up. So I'm like, you know what, we've got to use it. We've got to use it and just get get through it and get it done. Um, one of the reasons why I was not using it is because I didn't have a backup. I didn't have any other glitter glues. And it wasn't like something that, I, I don't know, that I feel like there's not a lot of brands that are doing these anymore. So I did actually just recently purchase the NYX glitter glue, although I'm a little worried because Ruth just bought that and she's having like, a reaction to it and I'm like oh crap <laughs> am I gonna have a reaction to it too um so I haven't actually tried it yet maybe I should try it but yeah I, this is very old I mean this is even old packaging I know they updated the packaging since this and I'm not even sure they do sell this anymore um but yeah I need to I need to just finish it up and get it out of my project this is going to take a while because again I can't use it just like the primer potion all over so how I used it today or how I use it mostly is like if I do my crease uh, shadow and then I'll put this on to do like the shimmery shadow. I did my sh eyeshadow a little different this day today this day today I don't know words um, I did put this all over the lid and then I went in with the red shimmer first and then I went over with the deeper color on the outer crease just a little bit like so it was a little different how I did my shadow but yeah for the most part this is going to take longer than like a primer potion so Finishing this is going to be an issue because I feel like there's a lot, like this is pretty full. It's 11 grams of product too. Um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but we've got a whole year to work on it. And then I talked about last year, I'm not doing a lip project pan this year. I'm still doing a lip project. That's coming later, um, but I'm not doing a lip project pan. So I did include lip products in this project. So I have two actual Bite Beauty products and they're both minis, which was not not intentional it just worked out that way um because I pulled this a little while ago and I've already started using it it is the bite agave lip mask again they don't make this anymore this is the old formula I did go through a full size of this um and then this is just like a sample size I was like you know it's one of the oldest lip masks I have let's finish it out um and like it's good like it's one of those products that you kind of forget that it how good it is the other day like I, I've been putting it on at night before I go to bed and I got up in the morning and I kind of you know do this I'm like oh my gosh I can still I can still feel this and taste this on my lips like it actually stayed all night nourishing my lips so yeah it's kind of sad that this is this is no more of a product and then the other item is a lipstick and this is the lipstick in pepper so I feel like this is an easy ish shade like it's a fairly neutral my lips better type shade um I ideally I'd love to finish this that's not, that's not going to happen. So goal for me on this, goal for me on this would be to get like, I would say halfway through this. Um, I think that's doable. This is not as long as like the Mac minis are really long and skinny. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, the challenge with this is again, it's a matte lipstick. Like it's not, I feel like with satins and like those types, it's easier for me to like reapply with a matte. I'm like, apply it first thing in the day. And then like, I tend to just like go over it with like lip gloss and other stuff throughout the day. I generally don't reapply a matte lipstick. So that's going to be the challenge. And I don't like reapplying. So now that I'm back in the office a bit more, I don't like reapplying lipstick in the office. I don't mind doing it at home, but for some reason in the office, again, like I'll just rather grab like a lip gloss or a lip balm and throw that on. So that's going to make this a little bit of a challenge. I haven't tried this as a blush yet. Potentially I can use this as a blush as well and that will help me get through it. But yeah, it'd be awesome if I could finish this. Um, and the reason why I threw this in the project was because like they go bad. So I have other ones that are like, I've had to declutter two so far that went bad. Chai and oh, I forget what the other shade was. Um, and then I have a full size one that's the Toronto one that's that's going off. <laughs> um, but that one I'm going to keep around anyway, just because it's like a collector type item to me. Um, but yeah, so I do want to get through as much of this as possible. So those are the items that I have in the project right now. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to roll in some stuff like I'll probably roll in a nail polish, probably roll in a mascara. I can definitely see myself rolling in a hair product, um, probably not skincare. Um, just because I feel like I don't, I don't have a lot of skincare and I feel like I go through my skincare, like no problem. That's the reason why I don't have a setting spray in here as well. Don't have a lot of setting sprays and I don't really have any issues going through them. Um, I literally have, well, again, it's kind of like the primer. I have the Urban Decay, uh, all nighter, but I have like one that's in use and one that's a backup. So I consider that like one. <laughs> um, I just bought one new one and then I have like the Liddy, little, the Liddy, the Liddy, the Liddy one, <laughs> the little, Mehron, 
Maron one. Um, so again, it's not something that I want to throw in a project because I'm not like, yeah, okay, I could track using it, but I'm not motivated to finish one up right now. Uh, whereas last year I had like three or four that I'm like, yeah, I want to get through those. <laughs> So yeah, that is my intro for my project pan for 2024. If you like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.